Just a quick note before we get started this week, I want to say a big thanks to anybody who took the time to post a comment underneath. It's been a lot of very generous, complimentary and helpful comments posted below all of the videos in the last few weeks and I do get to read them all but unfortunately because my time is limited this video channel is just a side project for me I work a full-time job also so I don't have time to respond to all of the comments unfortunately and um, but I do read them all and I do appreciate them all so thank you very much for that now you might remember a couple of weeks ago we had this video number 133 where I had a Dell Latitude 3520 that was crashing intermittently so you'd be working away on it all of a sudden it would stop the power light would come on and then it wouldn't do anything until you disconnected the battery now what I found out eventually was that the battery connection appeared to be dodgy however I thought it would be useful to find another working laptop and map out the voltages that you should expect on the input section when the laptop is working using the power adapter and when the power adapter is disconnected now this is a Dell Latitude 3510 which I repaired in another video last year and is now fully functional and working and the battery is pretty good in it too. So what I'm going to do, I've mapped out here as you can see the schematic of the NVDC input section for this laptop and we're going to go through it, we're going to write down all of the voltages that we should expect on a working laptop when it's plugged in and when I disconnect the power adapter and run from the battery alone. So let's start. So let's start where we always start at the DC input jack. So let's zoom in on that. So pins six, seven and eight actually carry in our voltage from our DC power supply. So the voltages that I'm about to take now are the voltages measured with the laptop plugged in and powered on. And just in case anybody is unsure as to how I'm taking these measurements, I'm using my multimeter in volts DC in the 20 volt range, I'm placing my black probe to ground, and I'm then using my red probe to take voltage measurements at different points on the circuit. So let's start. So let's take our first measurement. So with our power adapter plugged in, I'm measuring at pin 6, and at pin 6 we find we measure 19.50 volts. So that's the voltage being supplied to the motherboard by our AC to DC power adapter. At the gate of PU4301, which is the P-channel MOSFET, I find that we measure 3.0 volts. Now this is a P-channel MOSFET, so the voltage should be low in order to switch it on. With a voltage of 3 volts at our gate pin, this should switch the MOSFET on, and we should be measuring the same 19.5 volts here. So I take a measurement, and I find that we sure enough measure 19.50 volts after that first MOSFET. The second P-channel MOSFET, which is PU4415, we know we have a good input on the drain of 19.50 volts. So what is the gate pin? The gate pin tells this to switch on or off. So measuring at the gate pin, we find that we have 1.75 volts. Again, this is a P-channel MOSFET, so that's a low signal, and that should switch that MOSFET on. So with a low signal on the gate, that means PU4415 is switched on and our 19.5 volts comes true from our drain pins to our source pins. If I measure here, I find that we also have 19.50 volts. After our two input MOSFETs, we have a current sense resistor. And if I measure after that current sense resistor, I find that it has the same 19.50 volts there. If we zoom out, we can see we have our battery management IC, which is a 9538H. Now I've marked in all of the pins on this and I've taken out the voltages at the significant pins. So let me show you what I measured. And just to reiterate, all of these voltage measurements I'm taking now are with the laptop plugged in and powered on. So if we go to pin 17, we take a measurement at pin 17 and we find that it measures 19.20 volts. At pin 18, the VDD pin, we measure 5.0 volts. At pin 19, our AC in pin, I find that it measures 3.75 volts. At pin 24, our AC OK pin, I find that it measures 3.10 volts. Our VBAT pin, pin 31, we measure 16.40 volts. So that's the voltage that we're measuring from the battery. Pin 32 is our B gate, or battery gate pin. When I measure here, I find that it is 8.15 volts. Pin 3 is VSYS, and we measure 
16.40 volts here. And if we zoom out a small bit, we can see all of this in context. We have our battery here, and as you can see, a sample of the voltage is sent back to VBAT so that this IC is aware of the voltage level of the battery. We have our battery MOSFET here, PU4412, the gate of which is controlled by B gate pin of our IC. We also have a current sense resistor here, PR4407, and that's sampled before and after so that this IC is aware of the current going through it when it's charging and when it's discharging. And just to reiterate it one more time, these measurements are taken with the laptop plugged in and powered on. So at the drain pins of PU4412, we find that it measures 16.40 volts. We know that we're getting our gate signal from this IC, which is 8.15 volts. So we measure at the gate pin, we find that same 8.15 volts. At the source pins of our battery MOSFET, we find that we measure 16.40 volts. And if we zoom back out fully, we can see our VSYS power rail, which is our main power rail that's sent down to all of our secondary circuits. If we take a measurement right here, we find that this measures 16.40 volts. So 16.40 volts is sent down as our VSYS to all of our secondary circuits. So those are the voltages that I measured with my laptop connected to my power adapter and powered on. Let's remove the power adapter and take those measurements with my laptop running on the battery alone. For all the voltage measurements that I took with the power adapter connected, I used a red font. For all the power measurements I'm gonna take now with the power adapter disconnected and running on battery alone, I'm gonna use an orange font. So just to clarify, the voltages that I'm about to show now are the voltages that I measured when the laptop was fully powered on but running from the battery alone. So as we would expect, with our power adapter disconnected, all of this section here is all measuring zero volts. Right up to the current sense resistor. It's actually measuring 50 millivolts here, not absolute zero, but it's close enough to zero. So what did the measurements at our battery management IC look like with our power adapter disconnected? At the DC in pin, pin 17, I measured 15.05 volts. At pin 18, the VDD pin, I measured 5.0 volts. At pin 19, the AC in pin, I'm measuring 0.0, .0 volts. At pin 24, the AC OK pin, I'm measuring 0.0, .0 volts. At pin 31, VBAT, I'm measuring 15.20 volts. At the B gate pin, pin 32, I'm measuring 7.05 volts. At pin 3, the VSYS pin, we're measuring 15.20 volts. The drain pin of our battery MOSFET, we take a measurement here and we find that we have 15.20 volts. Once again, this is communicated back to our IC on pin 31 VBAT. We've already seen that pin 32, the B gate or battery gate pin on our IC is sending 7.05 volts down to the gate pin of our battery MOSFET. At the source pin of that battery MOSFET, we're also measuring 15.20 volts. And our VSYS voltage when running on battery alone is actually the battery voltage, 15.20 volts. Okay, so for anybody who's still awake at this point, what have we learned? Well, if we look at the voltages across this circuit, when it's plugged into the power adapter, you can see that we get 19.5 volts coming through our two input MOSFETs, coming through our current sense resistor. It's regulated down by these MOSFETs to about 16.4, 16.5 volts. This is our VSYS voltage, and this is sent down to our secondary power rails. Now, because we're connected to a power adapter, our battery needs to be told that it is in charging mode, not discharging mode. So the signal from the B gate on pin 32 down to the gate of our power MOSFET is 8.15 volts. So just to confirm, 
when we have our laptop plugged into the power adapter and our battery is charging the gate voltage is 8.15 volts on our battery MOSFET and when we disconnect our power adapter and we're running from battery alone you can see that the signal sent from our IC on the B gate pin down to our MOSFET here is 7.05 volts so this is a, a lower voltage it's switching on this MOSFET and you can see that the battery voltage which is 15.20 volts is now coming from drain to source through our current sense resistor and that is providing our VSYS voltage which is sent down to all of our secondary power rails I'm going to include the two of these images as downloads in the description for this video so you can take these down and have a look at them if you want again this is a building process here and I think I'm making progress with it the one thing I was missing from this presentation uh, was a full description of this IC I can only find like an abbreviated data sheet for it and I didn't want to give an explanation for each of these pins as I was measuring them without a full description from the manufacturer's data sheet if anybody has a full data sheet for this could you please send it to me at the repair share at gmail.com I'd really appreciate it because it's quite a popular IC and that's what I've got for this week guys Um, I'm really struggling to get some repairs because obviously the repairs are the most interesting part if you have a laptop that you're working on and you would like to send me some images of it we can work on it together we've had reasonable success with that with our let's help a subscriber series um, I'm gonna try and pick up some secondhand stuff for repair during the week but like I said I'm open to helping somebody out to try and fix their laptop if you want to send me the details I hope you all have a great week and I'll speak to you next weekend.